a great recipe for you today, okay? Vegan sweets, fruit lovers versus fruit roll-ups. Let's settle it, okay? Which one's better for you, all right? Which one's least expensive? Look, before we go any further, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video because I'll have all the nutritional info waiting for you, okay? Let's go. So YouTube, this is where the journey starts. I mean, I am at the grocery store. Things have changed. I'm in a different role now. Look how I'm shopping. Anything you might need! Snacks! Food! For roll-ups! Anybody drink that crap? Skim milk? That's the dairy industry's answer to the milk hate of the 90s. When, right? The, remember the milk hate in the 90s? When everybody's like, it's bad for you. We're the only animal that drinks the milk of another species. 
We're also the only animal with thumbs that cooks our food and watches Netflix. Careful, that's a slippery slope, man. One percent's better for you. Well, cook your pork one percent. See how that works out for you, trichinosis boy. I don't need any of it because I'm a vegan. Isn't that weird? I'm a vegan. You know what that means? It means that I don't, uh, that I don't have any friends. That's what that means. <laughs> lift their own body weight. That's a myth, by the way. That's a myth. The other myth is about animals. I don't really, I don't, I can care less. I mean, I have friends that are like, well, you love animals so much, you ought to marry an animal. Like, it's not about that. It's about health. That's why I do it, for health reasons, right? Yeah, okay, you're with me? It's for health reasons. As a matter of fact, animals had less to fear from us when we were eating them, because we only had to kill one to eat for weeks now. I'm competing for the same garden. I gotta kill all those varmints. If I see a rabbit looking at my carrots, I'll punch his whole family, I don't care. Dude, I'm waterboarding the squirrels to find out what time the deer show up. I'm not messing around. That's my garden. I'm an anti-animal vegan for the NRA. I don't wanna shoot them. Somebody's gotta load up, Nugent. Take your positions. My wife says I underthink. You ever underthink anything? And there's proof of that. I definitely underthink stuff. You ever walk into a garage sale and realize it's not a garage sale at all? It's just a dude sitting in his garage reading the paper? That's happened to me twice in real life. I didn't even catch on right away. He goes, can I help you? He's like, nah, I'm just looking. It's okay, I'm gonna look around. Check out your personal stuff for no reason at all. That was a garage sale in my head for a full minute. That is a long minute for the other guy. What did he even think I was doing? Like it was the most uncommitted home invasion ever? Like I just wandered in. I'm actually gonna browse, see if your stuff's worth going to prison, so have a seat. And then I didn't rob him. How disappointing for him. How embarrassed would you be if people showed up to rob you and then just passed on your junk? Like I'm not going to jail over this garbage. Reinvest. I'm always doing that. I got caught in a bank robbery in Colorado and I made that awkward. In a bank robbery. You ever been to Colorado? They don't have air. They have no air in Colorado. No, ex no explanation, no nothing. You just get off the plane, can't breathe. And you're like... So you gotta know that to know this. I had to walk to a bank and I asked my front desk clerk where the bank was and I can't tell you the name of the bank on stage anymore because Bank of America has this thing about laws and slander. <laughs> She draws me a map, because I'm walking, and I go, is that walking distance? She goes, mm, yeah. Anything we might need, snacks, food, for roll-ups, let's go.